just sitting on the couch and I already filled an apartment tour that should be going up on my channel soon I just wanted to give you guys like an update of what's going on in my life and um, I filmed a vlog uh, how many weeks ago I don't know maybe two it might have been four weeks ago I think it was the end of October I don't even think it was November yet but when I went to upload it like I don't know, half of my footage wouldn't upload, like, so there was something wrong with it, like it was corrupted or something, so my vlog starts off with me finishing my makeup, and you don't get an intro or anything, all the stuff that I updated you on is gone, so I thought that I would just kind of catch you guys up, so basically what I was doing that day was trying to purge a little bit of my closet, my wardrobe. Um, just because I was at a point where I had a lot of clothes, but, and I still have a lot of clothes, but I just wasn't, like, into them anymore, and I was just like, I want a more streamlined wardrobe that make it a little bit easier for me to get dressed in the morning, and get dressed for work, and, I don't know. I was just in the mood to make some extra money and get some new things, some nice pieces, so, you know, things for fall things that I needed and things on my little wish list as I always mention I have a thrift wish list which I say thrift but it's not always just going straight to the thrift store second hand of course because for me second hand fashion is not something to be you know ashamed of or shy away from because everyone's trying to be green everyone's trying to be eco-friendly what better way than to recycle um, your fashion I hope you guys enjoyed I mean, the vlog and if you want to see more vlogs just please like this video and comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you want to see I'm really grateful to uh, see my channel grow over these past few months and it's not like I have a thousand subscribers I don't even have a hundred subscribers but the few that I do have I'm so grateful for they leave such um, amazing nice comments on my channel and some of them are people that I actually watch myself so when they like comment on my videos I just get so touched and like I don't know, like I have a fangirl moment, like I watch your videos and you're saying that you watch my videos and you like the stuff I'm doing, so it's really kind of cool, but anyways, I don't know, just talking to the camera and I want to say I'm sorry if I say, um, like, I don't know, I don't know a lot in the vlog because, I don't know, when I'm talking by myself to a camera, a lot of times I say I don't know, um, okay, so voila, here is my makeup. I'm just gonna lost though. I don't know if you can even see that. It's really natural, but it's nice. I got I use on my eyes the Alme Pure Blend um, and 228 Apricot, which also I found at the Dollar Tree a while back. And I really like packaging is nice, magnetic class. And like I said, I use the LA Colors Eyeliner and Brow Liner. Um, crayon. I'm not sure what color this is. It's in brown. It's a little darker. It is a little darker than my natural brows, but it does make it look very defined. And I also used it to line my eyes with. So it does give you a darker look, but it's not as harsh as black would be on your eyes. And then for lips, I just used the Nivea, um, what is this? Kiss of Flavor Cherry Tinted Lip Care. I'm almost done with it. I've just been trying to use it up, so I don't have that much left. And I've had this for a while. So, I am going to, I don't know, try and charge this battery, go to the Dollar Tree. Yeah, so I will see you all in a little bit. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Alright, so I just got back from the Dollar Tree. Um... <laughs> It is burning up in my apartment, but it's nice and cool outside. I'm sorry, I'm like a little out of breath and a little bit, you know, you know how you get that, that, that good deal and you're like, like your heart is racing and the adrenaline and you're palpitating. Anyways, okay, let me show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. Quick Dollar Tree haul slash grocery haul. Um, I like, I like watching other people, so I got this, um, I kind of opened it. The sea salt potato chips, they're all natural, kettle style, zero gram trans fat, they're glories. 
good health um, nature food. I mean, it's only 2.75 ounces, GMO free and gluten free. So I don't know. Ah, I like chips, but I should be eating healthier, and you know. So that I got a thing of eight medium grade eggs because I love eggs. My husband doesn't like eggs that much. And he hasn't been buying it for me, so I wanted to get a, a set of eggs. I wanted some eggs, because I love omelets, making frittatas, I love all that stuff. So, more food stuff. I got, oh, hold on, I gotta take my coat off, because I am burning up. Oh, and it's almost like 11.30, so, yeah. Um, I got these Miss Claudia's Bakery Fresh Baked Bread Anytime. They're French baguettes, two of them. I'm going to split... I think at least one of these open and um oh sorry I'm gonna split one of these open and make it for dinner make garlic bread and to go along with that I also got Hunt's potato well, Hunt's potatoes <laughs> Hunt's pasta sauce and traditional I'm gonna make we have some chicken patties I like the bread it kind of already I want to make chicken parm I haven't made that in so long so I also got some cranberry dried cranberries from Ocean Spray cranberries. Um, they're sweet and dried cranberries. I used to love eating dried cranberries. Um, again, another good healthy snack, sort of. And I could put it in my oatmeal and other stuff. Ooh, they have a package of oatmeal at the assorted kind of, um, oh, I can't think of my words. They're assorted oatmeal individual packets. I want to go back and get some of those. There's a lot of want to go back and get. I got my mixed berries. Oops, sorry. Mixed berries. They're the Jennifer's Garden All Natural Mixed Berries. I do like these a lot. I've made some leaves with these, but what I've been doing lately is making infused water with the frozen fruit because it infuses your water and it also keeps it cold. So I'm going to make a pitcher of infused water. water. TJ Farm Select Broccoli Cuts. It's 16 ounces, which is better than the steam cut, which is only like 14 or 12. So I got a pack of that to eat for dinner. And I also got Fun Frugal and Fabulous, who always talks about their cheese. And she said not to get the other shredded kind because it doesn't melt well. So I got the Silver State brand white cheddar cheese with Mediterranean herbs. Oh, Mediterranean herbs. White cheddar cheese, herbs, pasteurized milk, culture, salt enzymes, Mediterranean herbs. Hmm, I wish it was a Mediterranean herb. It was either that or pepper jack cheese, which is not the right type of cheese for chicken parm. So it would be Mediterranean chicken parm. So that's all the grocery stuff I got. And here's other things that I got. Okay, ladies, you always need these. And they were a dollar, so get those. I got some cotton rounds. We've been needing some lotion. So I got that. It kind of reminds me of the Jergens, which is why I got it. Because sometimes the Dollar Tree lotion can be horrible and not moisturized. So I got one of those. Um, I also need a face moisturizer, so I got this. It came in a three-piece set, but I'm le ooh, I got some on me. Hmm. Mm, consistency is fine. Um, I'm leery about putting things on my face. Like as far as cleansers and toners and things like that, so I'd rather try the moisturizer first, see if that breaks my face out. I got some soap to put into my mason jar soap dispenser. I just got the refill soft soap and the soothing aloe vera because all the other ones are really small. So I got that. I got myself a knit hat. I wonder how this looks. I'm gonna try this on. I hope I didn't leave this light on. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna try this on. How does that look? I mean, oh, I hate when people wear their beanies like this, but I mean, can I roll it? Can I roll it up? This is hard to do with one hand. Anyways, I got a beanie because I wanted a beanie, even though I have a gray one already, but they didn't have black. And I need something that, to cover my head that, I don't know, kind of looks cute. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. I might return it. I might keep it. Unless I'm gonna cover my head. Anyways, out of the bathroom. Back to where I was. Alrighty. Sorry if this is super jumpy. The reason I'm super excited is because of these. Do you see that? Is it gonna focus? Maybelline color tattoos. The 24 hour kind. I love these. I have two already. But guess, look. Can you see? Is it gonna focus? Focus! Anyways, it says limited edition. I got nude pink. I got this color, which is this shade, which is Beijing Beauty. This is not focusing. Beijing Beauty. It's like that color. I got the color matte brown. Looks like that. I got the color just beige. Which, if you look at these, the one looks more matte and one looks a little more shimmery. I also got Blue Paradise, which is a really cool fluorescent blue. Well, that is. I only get five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I only got five. And I spent like 20 bucks. So, I'm super excited to do these color tattoos. Yay! And this is what I make for dinner. So, I'm going to put this stuff away, and then I want to show you the three bags I have. These three bags here are things that I'm trying to sell and make some money so that I can buy more clothes, which sounds crazy. But, there's some things I want to get at my job with my discount tomorrow. And, the way our discount works is you get allowance. You get so many cents per hour that you work, and it's like a store credit or like an allowance of money that you can spend in the store. So, I want to get, anyways, so I have some things on hold and I always try and like stay under budget so I don't have to spend extra money of my own, but there's some really, really nice things I want to get and I'm, there's a few of them that I feel like are not going to be there or just some things I really want now because I think they're more fall appropriate, so I'm just going to, you know, try and get some extra money for that. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to put this stuff away, I'm going to eat lunch really quick, and then I'm going to try to find my way over to Coventry. I've never been out there, and we always recommend people there, but I'm not sure exactly where it is, so hopefully my phone GPS will not fail me, and I can make it there alive in one piece. So, I will check back in with you all later. As you saw before, I was talking to my husband on the phone, and I made some infused water. You can see a little bit of the strawberry particles. I have some of those um, sweet potato chips, some dried cranberries, and some chicken and turkey with mayo on wheat bread. So that's my lunch. I'm going to finish eating this, and then I'm going to be out the door because... I don't know how long I'm going to be there, and I don't want to be there forever, so. Alright. Okay, so I made it back from Avalon Exchange, and... Um, my three bags, they only took four things. I got like $10 and 50 something cents. Um, I don't mind because two of the things I got for free and the one thing I paid full price for at, actually no, I didn't pay full price for it. I got it on sale from TJ Maxx and the other thing I got from the thrift store. 
50% off. So it's just things that weren't working for me. Um, I'm really surprised at some of the things, but I don't know. I like the store. It's really kind of cool. Um, it's kind of cool, but it's just weird that everything is kind of like shoved in there and it's a little bit small. It's definitely smaller than our store and everything's like kind of, I don't want to say disorganized. They're grouped together, but it's not really like colorized or sorted. It's just by size and what it is. It's like all the no sleeve tops are on the one rack and they're just rounders. Um, some of the things I saw was priced pretty reasonable and cheap compared to the things at my store versus some of the things I thought were a little, you know, higher. They had a lot of fake stuff. I'm sorry, but they had a lot of fake stuff. Like, I noticed they had some, like, Gucci things and Louis Vuitton things that they were, didn't price that high, and they weren't in their, like, display case. So they had it, you know, out on the floor, and I don't know. So I'm like, whatever, maybe I'll sell them my fake Valentino bag. Maybe. I do love that bag. I don't care if it's fake or not. I, doesn't try to, I wasn't trying to get a fake bag, but I just like the way it looks. I wanted to hurry up and come back out because, like, there's only three-hour parking. But look where I'm at. Like, it's super cute little street. And then the store is back that way. Yeah, the store is behind me. And Coventry is such a cute little spot. It reminds me, like, maybe... I won't, I won't say New York because it's not really New York. But it's kind of a little hustle-bustle, a little cute little city town with all these little shops and stuff. But the way my directions told me to get here was kind of out of the way, I feel. Like, it took me right here, but I feel like there could have been an easier way to get here. So I think now I'm going to just go... What time is it? It's almost 2 o'clock. It's 1.44. Um, so I'm going to go... So I'm going to go to Close Mentor and see if I can sell any of my stuff at Close Mentor. And, um, I don't know. I'm just going to... Thank you. That's my phone connecting to the Bluetooth. Jeez. And, I don't know. I, look, I feel kind of weird because people are around and I'm vlogging. But anyway, so I'm going to head over there and just try and sell some more clothes. Although, funny thing, when I went in my wallet to put my money in that she gave me, I was like, hey, I have some money in here already. So, <laughs> I already have some money, which is kind of cool. I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There were some shoes that were there that were really cute. There were Jeffrey Campbell's, and they were spiked little loafers, and they were like $26. But they fit me perfectly, and they were really cute. Oh my goodness, so many people. Don't worry, people. I'm getting out of your way. All right, okay. I'll see you guys later. So, another quick antidote, and I don't even know if I'm in focus or not. Oh, which way should I go? That way. I don't even know if I'm in focus or not, but I just wanted to say that, okay, so, in addition to their store being kind of small and everything being kind of crowded together, and, like, you know, a, like really small and I don't know like kind of, kind of cramped and me having me thinking they have suspected you know faux bags um and faux things they put all of your things they want to buy from you in a bin and then whoever comes after you they put all the stuff in the bin too and so I was just looking around you know while I was in there there was a popo. There was a popo. Anyways, okay. So, like I was saying, and oh, I'm sorry. This is so totally horrible. Okay, I'm out of red light. Good. Anyways, they put all all your stuff in a bin, and they say, okay, we took four things, and we can offer you this much in cash or this much in trade, which I'm used to. But it's like they don't even show me what they took and like what if I said no I want my stuff back and she's like oh it's all the way at the bottom so she digs through the bin and, and shows me the four things that they took which I'm like okay fine and dandy but I'm like what if I said no I want my stuff back then they have to dig all the way in there I feel like that can be a little bit I don't know problematic you know what if you don't remember all the stuff you took anyways all in all my experience was fair it was okay um it's a cool little place. There was a girl there that reminded me of my coworker that moved to California. She kind of reminded me of her, the way she dressed and had her hair all braided up, but yeah, so just had to say that before I forgot. Okay.
Look, guys, I don't know if you can be able to see. Oh, I can show you before I leave. This is Taylor Road. S. Taylor Road. S should be at the end for Taylor S. Taylor S. Road. Just wanted to show you guys. It's so beautiful. All day. You can't tell me you don't like fall and see all the beautiful leaves changing on the trees and say you don't like fall. Like, it's just so beautiful. Okay, so I am at Clothes Mentor right now, and it is, I don't know if you can see, there it is, behind me. So, I'm going to go in there and try and sell some more clothes. Okay, so done with Clothes Mentor. And kind of disappointed because they didn't take not one single thing. She said they're really overstocked in shoes and purses, which I understand. Um, especially size 9. They said to come back another time for those. And then they said that I have mostly junior brands that would be better at Playoffs Closet, which I don't really think I have too many junior brands. But I can try them at Play-Dohs. I really don't want to. Uh, okay. Well, anyways. Bye. Okay, so we're back in the car and I'm on my way home. Um, Darren has been updating me on some of the house things and I went to Revol I went to Clo I went, uh, after Clothes Manor, I went to Play-Dohs Closet and I went to Revolve my job and I did a lot better. Like, I sold um, eight pieces at Play-Dohs for $18 um, and some change. And then I sold some things at Revolve for, and there I just took store credit for $14. i am going to use that tomorrow to get some things. So, um, I'm pretty happy that, you know, the day wasn't futile and futile. Futile? Futile? Anyways, I'm just glad that it wasn't a waste because um, I did get some things sold and it's just, I just needed that stuff gone. I just needed it gone because I, because I just needed it gone. There's no need to hold on to things. I don't need it. Um, so I'm going to go through my jewelry again. She said that I had great purses and cute things, you know, great coats and purses. So if I have more, then they need more. So what I'm going to do is go back home and look through my stuff again. Like, okay, what can I get rid of? You know, I have tons of stuff that I really don't use that much. It's just more for nostalgia. So, she said they need purses, then they need purses. I definitely have lots of purses. So, I mean, I don't know if it's exactly what they want, but I can just go home and look through my purse and the jewelry because that's one thing that is hard for me. And so, it's like my ear cuff. I don't want to sell it but I don't wear it. I've worn it a few, I think I've worn it three or four times. I just need to wear it a few more times and, and sell it because I don't know. I don't know. It's like you like stuff because you get talked into buying it, but then you don't actually wear it that much. So it's like, why? But if they said they need it, you know, things like that, then great, you know. Some stuff I didn't even pay that much for, you know, so that's pretty cool, and I don't know, I hope I'm in the frame, and I hope it's not like an awkward shot, you know, but I don't have a mount, so this is what you get, people, but yeah, so Darren's just been updating me about house stuff, and you know, insurance, and expectors, and taxes, so I just hope that we can find a house that we both like, you know, and that we can see the, both see the potential in, and, yeah, I'm just, uh, it's 3.39, and Darren gets off, they close at 4, 
He probably won't get off till 4.30. He probably won't be home till around 5. We have Bible study at 7. So. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit tiring when I get home. Probably going to grab a snack. And then just chill out for the rest of the day. And I don't know. This might be the end of the vlog, guys. This is kind of difficult to vlog. I don't know. It wasn't that hard. But it would have been a lot easier if I had a mount and could just mount it to something. So, yeah, that's what I did on my day off. Um, that's basically it. Just went to Avalon Exchange. Close mentor, play this closet, revolve fashion, and made a significant amount of money. And in the next few days after that, I was able to get most of the things that you saw in my collective haul that I got from revolve fashion. All that, all those items like the sweater dresses, and the JQT, and the cardigans. That was all the things that I got um, using the money I made. So. I think it was a good trade. I'm always trying to just get rid of things that aren't working in my wardrobe. It's not worth, you know, cluttering up your closet with things you don't wear. Especially if you don't have a lot of space. And we're going to be moving soon. And our my new closet is going to be even smaller than the one I have now. Which is a little upsetting. Because that was the one thing that I was really trying to look for was a walk-in closet. But you win some, you lose some. Alright guys, so thank you so much for following us. Following us. Okay, so thank you so much for following along with me on my vlog. And I will see you all next time. Bye!